be aggressive in the set, just like by, you know, by thought alone. Yeah, the, zo the zoning potential in this match is probably one of the highest that you, you could possibly see yep. in a New York match. But I feel like that's what's going to make it exciting. I'm biased. I like yep. zoning. But at the same time, we got to see what happens. For Kalos being the first stage, I think this is a really good pick because there's a lot of space. And both characters can make decent use of the uh, ledge flats yep. for more variety on return to the stage. And right now, you just see actually Ogap uh, just lacking up so much damage. You see Tony actually being the aggressive in the set, uh, wanting to go in on extra O. And that's definitely what extra O wants to be, but almost getting the tech chase with the C4 there, but not guessing that he was going to te uh, tech inwards. Uh, well, regardless, right now, really, really great usage of the up out of shields from extra O. Getting o, just really solid damage from them. And I just love how much he's controlling Tony's space with the boomerang with the arrows. It just seems like all of this, like, red. Woo! All right, a bit of a spicy one. Boomerang on the comeback, even the confirm it's a down air. I've noticed that Extra O likes to use that move a lot for his uh, pressure. Is that just, like, a typical trait yep. of his? Yeah, no, no, absolutely. The way that he uses uh, Boomerang, uh, the down air, rather. Like, like, the Young Link's down air is such, like, a difficult move to challenge. And if you do try to challenge it, you'll end up dying really early. But getting the up the into an up here, already putting Tony at 97%. And the way that Young Link... <gasps> yeah. <laughs> I'm just surprised like that would reach all the way from there. But getting the falling back here into an F tilt, really beautiful stuff from extra up. This is just a maelstrom of projectile pressure that Tony does not know how to rush in with. Yep. I feel like just as you were predicting in the pregame, we need to figure out if Tony is going to want to reel things back because going aggro on extra O is just leading to him yep. getting styled on. Ooh, I do think that was a bit of a miss input at up peak. Regardless, he's going to get kind of punished for it. The side being the wrong way, I can't help but think that he was maybe trying to reverse one of his neutral bees. But regardless, right now Tony has to find a way to wrap up the stock or else he'll find himself taking so much damage from extra O. All right, Nikita almost coming in to get the kill, but not just yet. An untackable from the wall is going to be able to do it, though. All right, Tony has a full stock ahead of him in order to peel off, though. Good patience from extra, though. I like it. Notice the C4. Try to burn up the timer. And getting the boomerang into the neutral B and just, like, like forcing him to go so, so slowly with, like, a shield with all the, like, the bomb pressure as well. Finally able to get a dash attack in, but unfortunately not being able to convert much off of it, only dealing 12%. Extra O carrying the first hit of the down air and then getting hit by the second one, but I don't believe it connected into the third one at all. I think the boomerang falling neutral into an F tilt, just racking up the percentages. Like, Tony has to maybe play it back a little bit. Wow. I think this is going to have to do it in game one because that was a game two because that was a runaway game. I mean, this set, like, the momentum was completely in Extra O's favor. Uh, I feel like right now, like, Tony's, like, really, really rushing in. He's, like, kind of letting Extra O do what he wants. So he has to, like, pull it back maybe a little bit, slow it down, and then just see, okay, if Stop approaching battle. like this is not going to work out for me, what else could I be doing instead? Right. All right, so the pick was town to go into. Very interesting. I feel like... Even though Kalos has a lot of space, um, Extra was able to keep a very active zone as far as his projectile hell is concerned. Much the same can be said about how Town and City's active space is, although I guess the platforms will give more of a variety to how Snake can yep. space. Because on Kalos, because it's just like the large flat zone between them, it's very, very difficult to actually get in on a character that's just sitting on the platform. Right? But Tony, ooh, oh, trying to, you know, dash back with the C4, perhaps just trying to reset it. Regardless, this is a much, di completely different game than, than we saw game one. Actually, O started to bring it back with a down tilt forward out. Right now, Tony is off stage. Actually, O choosing not to commit too much of a ledge trap scenario, understanding that, hey, he's a little bit of a two early level percent. I'm just going to set up projectiles. Um, I love that upbeat from Extra O, actually, because Nikita is going to be a really, really, like, tough customer for Young Link to deal with. Young Link has a linear recovery, not a good hitbox on the way up. Um, and so earlier he tried to neutralize it by hitting it directly, but that fell right into Tony's up smash. So he has to find a way to play around both the Nikita and the up smash, which is just going to be super, super difficult. And Tony seems super, really, really comfortable with controlling the space here on Talent City. Yep. This is a much more dire situation for Extra to be in as far as at least getting through the spaces, because now the war zone belongs to Tony. He's got the stock lead, and 
we're seeing a bit more of that uh, reactionary play I was yeah. hoping to see earlier because Tony's not really starting up the groove until he knows he has that safe space yeah. to establish projectile control. Ooh, really good foilita. I do believe Tony dropped the shield preemptively, not expecting the second hit of the foilita, or maybe just shield pump. Not entirely sure what happened there, regardless, it will be working out for the extra O. Uh, 47%, not too big of a deficit whatsoever. And now we just see a little bit of that more aggressive play coming from Tony, but extra O capitalizing on it, dealing so much damage with like a grab and in a couple of projectiles. I love how Extra Ho has responded in this set. The way that he's now trying to take to the platforms, where earlier it seemed like he wanted to establish his projectile control from base plot and sort of fight Tony on his own ground. The, the floor is no longer safe territory. I think yeah. Tony's done a great job of showcasing that. But an aerial Extra Ho is proven to be very dangerous. And Extra Ho, like, I love what he's doing with like the jump air dodges. Um, off of ledge, but Tony has to capitalize on that really, really soon because it seems like Extra O is getting away with it for free, but the run-up dash attack was that a, a pivot cancel left tilt. Regardless, taking out the stock, and right now Extra O is saying at 111%, super precarious, but a fantastic parry punish getting the up B back air, back air. Almost connecting an F tilt. Another oh, is he going to end it up with the up B? Oh, uh, he wanted it. Oh my god. But considering the tra stage transition wasn't happening just yet, he had all the safety yep. precautions in the world to go for it. You might as well. I mean, this whole set is looking like a highlight reel for Extra anyways. He might wow. as well go for it all as he gets the 2-0 over Tony. That was, I mean, that was really, really beautiful stuff. I love what he was doing towards the end of the set there because he was, like, calling out, like, a lot of the jumps out of shield. Mm -hmm. from, like, you just saw, like, um, you saw Tony holding, uh, sitting in shield a little bit, and then he would, like, try to jump out with a down, and maybe drop and go with a dash attack. And so all that he does is, uh, all that extra O does is he's going to wait for that shield drop, he's going to throw out a fire arrow, and then he already has the rest of his projectiles ready to convert off on that fire arrow.